Hello friends from Lurie Walls inviting you to the mermaid room. This is where the mermaid does all of her organizing of her water, coral, fish, inhabitants. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Innovative Marine Nano 20. We have an AI light fixture. I just stirred the sand a little bit so this uh, water has not cleared completely and that's a little bit about what I was wanting to talk about was um, how I modified my overflow filter sock situation. Nothing like the uh, felt sock that comes attached to these filter holders right here. I cut those off. Um, installed pieces of felt pad and we'll show you a little bit about how that came about. Um, we know felt socks are really kind of a bear to keep clean and um, I am always trying to find something that's easy that still does the job. So over here, once I cut that felt sock off that hanger, I found I already had these, oh, I think they're four by eight socks, mesh. They did have to be forced on to the bottom of that hanger, but I did it. You just have to be patient with it and do a little bit at a time and it will go on and secure that. I don't intend on taking it off that cover again unless I, you know, mess up and pull on it too hard. Inside that sock, I have these aqua clear filter foam inserts for a kind of a hang on filter foam. Uh, it's right inside and fairly easy to clean. These can be soaked in, you know, vinegar. If you had to soak them in, you know, bleach, you can do that. But um, So I keep the foam placed high in the sock and it sticks really well. When you're inserting it, it sticks to the inside of the bag where I then cut little pieces of um, the felt and that felt just lays on top of the foam piece. Very easy to clean, but it does catch a lot of stuff. So really, if you just keep a few of these pieces cut, pre-cut, you know, you can just take one out each morning or night, whatever. You'll see how much gunk it collects in a 24 hour period. It really does well, which is why having those um, uh, felt socks only was really a chore to keep clean because literally you got to remove them and clean them every day and ultimately it was a little too much for for my um, need on this aquarium really i only have two fish in here right now two clarky clownfish they're freaked out and hiding um, there is also a is it a corkscrew anemone corkscrew anemone and a pistol shrimp um, Last night the pistol shrimp in here was talking quite a bit, snapping and showing off and he likes it better obviously in the, you know, twilight hours of the light. He gets pretty noisy, but this is awesome because this thing is in the dark and it's a corkscrew enemy and it hosts with the pistol shrimp and uh, right now this is where he's living is back in that dark crevice. So it's kind of hard to see, but he is in there, and I'm hoping that as everything settles in this aquarium and they get to be uh, not picked on, because this is going to be a you know a low maintenance kind of aquarium. I don't want to have anything that's going to disrupt that little environment right there. So we have just a few mushrooms in here. Uh, I did put the Cyphastria in here because it didn't, I don't think it likes the super bright light 
of the ATI T5 and it's changed its color to brown which means not happy this is the blue with orange so if it bounces back in here I'll be pretty happy I've taken some cuttings off of the Gargonian over the Red Sea Reefer and uh, a couple of uh, pizza anemones in here that I took out of the Red Sea Reefer and we're just trying to make a kind of a low flow refugium corner back here help to keep everything clean in here a lot of particulate in the water but that'll be cleared up I may have to wash those filter, uh, um, felt fabric again by the end of the day just because I stirred the sand up I uh, added yesterday the auto top off water using a um, hang on the back refugium as my holding tank because well I got two hang on the back refugiums doing nothing in a closet so it makes a nice clear uh, holding tank for my auto top off Tunzi. everything in here velcroed on the wall my electrical strip thank goodness for that uh, label maker I'm in love with that thing so we've got everything labeled you know really only have three things plugged in here after I removed the screen top that goes on this aquarium the temperature dropped considerably I think that was uh, really causing some heat to stay within the tank right now we have 79.9 basically 80 degrees and um, this is our closest AC vent so uh, it's kind of close right over this so I'm hoping that I don't have to add a fan if it will just stay right in this zone between you know 79 and 80 I'll be happy once it starts popping up to 81 82 I do have several fans that I can um, set you know to the side of the aquarium or if I have to put that uh, mesh cover back on there I will I don't have, you know, if two clownfish jump out of here, well, there, that's my fault. I've already lost two fish in here due to the overflow. It's pretty, uh, actually pretty substantial. This tank overflows at a pretty quick rate. So I lost two fish through this overflow. My fault. I really thought I was being smarter than the fish, but turns out, I'm just not smarter than the fish. The mermaid is no smarter than the fish. So here we go. <laughs> Added, let's see, 30 pounds of Fiji pink sand in here two days ago. So the felt socks were installed here to help keep, get that uh, water column back into shape. I also got my actinic bulbs in, so I have uh, purple plus, two purple plus, looks like that actinic, and then two blue plus, two actinics, and a coral plus on the back. So I think it kind of makes everything look pretty good. And now we're going into nine minutes, so I'm just really going to kind of leave it at that. Uh, again, hello from Lurie Wall's Mermaid Room. Everybody living life in a very cool, mellow state here. Have a wonderful day.